This thing here is my backlight scanner down the bottom there, attached to a rubber washing machine hose adapter and a Nightcore P26 torch. I'll turn the torch on. You can see it illuminates the backlight scanner down there. So basically this is used for um, illuminating. So when I, you know, when I look at the camera, directly at the camera, you cannot see the light source. So this is good for illuminating tunnels or when walking straight towards the camera and the light shoots out to the sides. If you can see in there, it's a bit, basically a diffuser that's built in to this, I 3D printed this. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it comes out of the printer uh, and what it looks like without all this black tape and cardboard stuck to it. Here's my finished backlight scanner print after six hours. And you can see I've put in supports into the print here for this top cone. Uh, there's also some supports up under there you can't see for the bottom of this built-in diffuser. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll get this out of the printer and I'll clean it up and then show you what it looks like. Here's what the backlight scanner looks like when it's all cleaned up, well, mostly cleaned up. You can see I've built in a uh, into the design a diffuser. Basically this attaches to the rubber hose adapter and it goes straight underneath this top cone so the light actually lights up down in there as well. And it's all quite strong, these supports are quite strong. Um, all you have to do is just cover it, cover it in black tape uh, and put um, you know, a piece of cardboard around the front here as well uh, or just cover it in really thick tape there. You can actually grind off these little stubs here if you want. This is a bit of a dodgy design, but it's just something quickly, uh, quick that I mocked up one day in a um, 3D modeling software. So yeah, but look, it works perfectly. It's made from PLA, uh, probably won't handle a really strong heat source, um, like a really strong torch closely mounted in this uh, very well. So I mean, if you're gonna print for longer lasting, I'd print in ABS or something um, a bit tougher, but uh, this works perfectly, and it's small. Here's the other one here, right next to each other. Yeah, works great. So I'm going to upload the actual STL file, uh, the print file, if anyone else would like to use this.